Okay, how about a quickie on how to thread the MG windshield wiper coil, this guy right here, into the shaft, or I don't know what you call these things, but never mind. How they go is, well, trying to do this with a camera in my hand, not always good, is that you have to thread them on. So they will thread through this end here, and then they wind onto that cable, whatever you want to call it, and then you thread them down to the flared end, which will fit into, let's see if I can do this, bear with me, sorry that I'm not a pro, and then you pull this end out, there we are, and then it goes in to a little notch that you can see right back in there. It's on each side that the flare fits into that notch. And it sits in like that. And then there is a the plate, the rear plate, put the angle with the angle, and then that sits on there to trap that flare right in here. Now you're going to thread on your next piece of tubing. This one I've extended because I'm doing doing something on that guy right there to extend the wiper from about right here all the way out to here because it just didn't work correctly. This is a 1970 MG BGT, a little bit modified. And the wiper on the driver's side just didn't come over far enough. I don't know what uh, BMC were thinking of or, or whatever group was in charge at that time. Anyway, I'm lengthening, and lengthening it. Thank you. Blah, blah, blah. And this one then will be farther over. But you want to make sure that this cable, this winding, is lubricated inside of the guide tube otherwise it's just going to bind and the motor isn't all that strong although my motor now is from a 92 mustang and i'll show you that well hell let's have a look at it right now eventually i'll be doing a video of the entire car so there is the motor assembly. There is, well, I should say the motor from the Mustang. So I have intermittent wipers. And I made, of all things, a wooden block to use as an adapter to put it on the original um, actuator thing, <laughs> rotator. So this rotates and pushes this arm in and out. And it pushes the cable, the winding, in and out. And that's what turns those wheels, those uh, sprockets, if you will, to actuate the wipers. So I'll go over how to put all of this back together. It's very simple, really. Um, in fact, I think I didn't put something on the cable that all of you are probably saying, hey, where's that little guide that goes right in here? So I have to put that on that's in the box. Okay, yes, the dash is completely torn apart. Yes, that is a Mustang 
steering column and yes there is a 5.0 under the hood and the AOD trans is right there but anyway let's get back to doing the wiper module now we're at the motor section there's the original motor and that is the piece I was talking about that goes right in here and then this eye goes under this arm which has if I can keep my hands out of the grease okay which has a come on baby it just pulls off and there it is a shaft okay we'll get shafted here in a second so here's the assembly and there's a a little bit of an end that sticks out now this cable is extra long it's out of a 1977 the 1970 cable is only about this long and that's what I needed was that extra four four and a half inches that I'm going to try to in fact I have to check that the the rotation of the actuators to see if I'm getting the proper sweep and if not then I'll add more length to it until I do get the proper sweep but anyway this whole thing just fits on the end down the flat end goes goes up there it goes fits right down in there kind of tight and then your arm and its shaft goes right in there and then you have to pull your cable out until it reaches over here and I'll do that now now you can see that the the whatever I have no idea the fulcrum if you will and then it will push the cable push and pull back and forth which that action will rotate the wiper actuators sure why not okay that's about it it's pretty simple so really when you want to pull it out of the car and not have to pull the motor out you're going to take this cover off just four little screws those four guys right there and then you're going to pull this arm off that will release the entire assembly and then once you have pulled the nut off of the escutcheon there's the escutcheon and the nut the nut you want to loosen up with some WD or whatever give it you know an hour two hours two days whatever you think it'll take depending on how corroded it is and then I just used a cordless impact and used a uh, three-quarter inch socket and then worked it a little bit worked it and then put the juice to it and it came off so no cutting and all of that stuff if you can help it so that's it I'm gonna try it make sure that I get the proper sweep and good luck to you ciao